Welcome back, my acolytes. I'm Darzam, back at you again for more live stream goodness here on the YouTubes. Wah wah, we wah, woo woo. I am sitting very low on the camera. What the fuck? Wow, that's so low on the camera. Ah. There we go. Yay, that's better. Yeah, hey, so we're back. Hey, we're back for another live stream. Hey, whoa, new game today. New game today. This game is called Tin Can. Uh, basically, it's a um, is it's a, a survival game. It is a survival game, and it is it is a permadeath thing as well. Um. So yeah, we like this. I can't just safe scum my way through this. Uh, so every playthrough is a permadeath playthrough. No, no matter, no way around it. So I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna call it Let's Survive because that's what it is, anyways. <gasps> Tick rules. Hey, yeah, wah. Oh, it's new. That's why I don't remember it. There you go. Yeah, it's it's new. Well, it came out in October, November, something like that. Uh, made by a single man. The, de the well, well, that's not true. The dev team, well, it was, but now it's made by two single mans. Um, I don't know if they're single. They're, they might, they might be. But uh, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I had a, I had a bit of a go with this because uh, I was like, man, I should learn how to play this game. That doesn't help. There's a there's a tutorial and I'm dying during the tutorial. Uh, I don't I don't know if I should try the tutorial again because there's there's things I don't understand. <laughs> How do I die during the tutorial? I'm electrocuted myself. Uh, do I? Yeah, we're gonna do it again. Uh, well, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it again. You're gonna see it for the first time and you can get an idea in a space no one can hear you scream, but sometimes it feels good nonetheless. All right, R welcome Larry. That's me as part of your training to become a certified technician. It is time for you to perform maintenance on this Medusa class three space raft. Press E to continue. So yeah, we are uh, in a I'd say we're on a we're we're on a spacecraft. We're certainly in space. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're surrounded by pipes. Uh so yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm so nervous. And then this is the tutorial. Oh, I'm nervous for the tutorial because I've died here like four times in the tutorial because I keep fucking up and electrocuting myself. If I die, chances are it's going to be electrocution. Uh, this is the O2 scrubber. Yes, yes, yes. I've been there. Blah, 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 blah. I know those. All right. Ouch. There was a problem with the CO2 scrubber. Turn it off. Turn it back on. The fuse is dead and is short in the system. The fuse serves as a protection against power surges. The system can't work without it, thanks to a second. The system can work without it, thanks to a secondary circuit, but not without risks. Open the system drawer, remove the fuse. And then turn it back on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's another problem with the CO. Look at the monitor. Low pump. Fuel full can. Uh, well, that's a lot of errors. Is it? It's two. Uh, don't panic. Take a good look at them. CO2 bottle is full and the system is full and the system therefore can absorb any more CO2. You need to replace it with an empty bottle before getting CO2 poisoning. Uh, 
while we're at it, also swap the empty oxygen bottle for a new one. Oxygen. There we go. That fills that up. Well done. Uh, let's clean the air filters inside the CO2 and pressure systems by blowing on them. Nice. The repair station allows you to repair or dismantle components. You simply have to place them inside. Dismantle an opponent will allow you to salvage spare parts that you can use to fix a different component. Press E to continue. To fix the fuse, we're going to need some spare parts. You have to decide what's worth sacrificing. For example, you can dismantle components from the emergency lights panel. Make sure to turn it off first. That's the thing that I keep forgetting to do. Take a component to sacrifice and place it in the repair station. Turn it off. Sir Samus make a Apollo 13 simulator. So it would seem. Now, I don't really want to break a fuse. Is there anything that I could sacrifice? I could take that off, but then I can't turn it back on. I probably shouldn't. Let's let's take off the power connector. Let's take the power transformer. Dismantle enough components to get the required amount of parts for the repair of the fuse and then fix it. So yeah, this is uh, a very technical game. Here's the manual. Airlock is the main access door to the escape pod. To open it, you need to make sure you are docked properly, then to pull and turn the handle once unlocked, you can simply pull the button. Warn and open the airlock while in space will result in immediately lost pressure and could cause hypoxia and then death. The fast battery charge draws a very high amount of power and will therefore lower power from other systems until the atomic pile can adjust for its consumption. At unprotected systems can be overloaded when removing the battery. Gravity generator. Please note that once oh, it's like there's so much stuff. And we're not going to win today. We are going to die.
We are going to die today. That's just the way it is. Well done. Your fuse is like is is now like new. Turn the CO2 scrubber off. Replace the fuse and turn it back on. Uh, oops, there seems it seems the O2 generator is having some issues. Go back to the life support systems and check the error code. Uh, what a mess. Error codes are encrypted. The main computer is the one supposed to decrypt them. It must be offline. Go and check what is wrong with it. Press E. Yeah, those are just. Yeah. There's something clearly wrong with that thing, uh, but there is no time to fix it. We need to take care of the O2 generator first. Your pod manual contains a translation of all error codes. Find it and open it. Use your manual to translate error codes and find out what is wrong with your O2 generator. Fix it and, or, and bring the atmospheric values back to normal. I need 982. Uh, PN82 is a low oxygen prod. Oxygen is too low. Empty the bottle. Empty bottle. Pump not functioning properly. Air filter is not functioning properly. Power received by the system is insufficient. Okay. Uh, but nah, 82 is a low pump. So it's got to be the pump, right? So therefore, if it says pump is not functioning properly, properly is one of the options. And this one says pump. We have a damaged pump. Something's wrong with the pump. I mean, I can go in here, give that. Now it's O. O one seven H O O one seven H. Uh, oxygen levels are too low. The oxygen generator is not function properly. There is an air leak in the pod. Atmospheric pressure. I died. <laughs> Better change that stream name then. Why? Let's survive tin can. That's what it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna play the game and we're gonna do it on normal and we're gonna go in the mark Medusa mark three And I guess that's the introduction to the game
That's why we're in the tin can. We had to escape from a uh, blowy up ship. Also, the game is crashing. Okay. Okay, we'll just we'll just try that again. It's this is early access. This is early access. It's only been out like a couple of months. Made by a single man. Made by two single mans. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Now we are in the space. Do 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 do. So yeah. Now we just we just uh fuck around. Collision imminent. Brace for impact. Yeah, we're going through an asteroid field. So, uh, the devs have stated interest in making making this game VR, which uh, I think would be really great. Nice. Perfect. Good. Hey, so far we have survived two minutes. Doing pretty good. It's a comfortable 71, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Very comfortable. Jeesh. Bad power trans. Bad fuse. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna take the fuse out, put that in there, turn that back on. Low can. Boom. Bad power transmitter.
Okay. On, on bat, on bat, on bat. No problem. No problem. Hey! Bobbity boops. No problem. Everything is turning out well. Let's clean the uh, air filters. Whew. Yeah. I see a problem. Full can, low pump. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom! Bobbity boops! Look at me! I am just... Kicking ass! Taking names! Surviving in space! Boom! I'm the best! How's the, uh, the, uh, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Let's just go to sleep. <laughs> Not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is actually not a whole lot going on. This is quite nice. I'm gonna get rescued in no time. Oh, what's your problem? Errolet doesn't master caution. I mean, we ain't got an error, so. Looks to me like everything's just fine. I mean, just blow on these every once in a while. Keep shit nice and good. This game ain't nothing. This game's for fucking pussies. I'm the best. Fun fact, the uh, th there is a leaderboard on this game. It only affects hardcore. So if you play the hardcore mode, which I'm gonna guess is just non-stop, uh, the, 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 top, the top player survived for like an hour and 20 minutes. Ice Nebula detected, oh fuck. Okay, Ice Nebula. We're gonna die of of cold. But I think. There's the ice nebula. Now, I think what I'm supposed to do in an ice nebula is the uh, Matt Damon Martian trick. Main generator, uh, uh, gravity is offline. Mm. 
mean, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it real. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Breathability is still good. All that's good. Pressure is good. All that is good. It says the artificial gravity is offline and so is the main generator, but at the same time, I don't... That's all... That's holding. And the temperature is working. So... Does this do anything? If I just put that back on, does that start going... Down? Maybe it just doesn't work at the moment. I mean, I don't see an, an issue. I, I can't tell if there's an issue. Uh, on bat, on bat. On battery. Low bar, high bar, low prox, two bone, low bottle, empty bottle, bat, bad bat, low bat. Battery is running low. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I have no gravity. Okay, we're out of that. On bat, again, like, it's just... Oh. What's well, on bat? Because I, I, I went low bat, so what's on bat? Oh, system is on partial battery, maybe. Okay.
Okay, shit's gonna go wrong at some point. Like, badly. The repair station is offline. Yes, I turned it off because I don't need it on. You know what I should do? I should take this battery while we're doing this. Oh. Oh, there goes the gravity. On bat, on bat. What does that say? I can't read that. Ah! Bad fuse! Gravity's back. Okay, uh, anything else? Artificial gravity repair station. The main generator is offline. Uh... Because, yeah, we're, we're, we're drawing too much power. Too, too much power. Turn off lights. Okay. Locan. Low pump. Bad fuse, low pump. Bad, bad fuse, low pump. Pump, low, low pump. Pump, 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 pump. Oh my god. I get pump, pump, pump. Data connector. Uh, bad fuse. I don't see the, like, is that just, I don't know, general? Like, what's going on? Oh, shit. Battery.
Killed power. Oh shit. One four. Uh, uh. Come on. I need to find a thing to hold on to. Thank you. Bad power connection. It now delivers insufficient power to the system. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm going to.
Shit, the dark, the mic is off. Okay. I don't know how long I've been quiet. Oh, there goes gravity again. Come on. At least it's fast. Bad caution alarm, bad monitor, fuel can, bad monitor. Too low power. Bad car caution alarm. Fuck. Well, repair station is offline, but like it doesn't matter. What? Full can. Low battery. Let's get the uh, oxygen. Good battery. Okay. Is this a simulated game? It is Ghost Marine. And Jason, hello. Boom. Okay. Gravity? Yes, gravity. Oh, there's two tables. Okay, what's the problem? We have a bad monitor, bad bad alarm, bad power transitor, and a whole load. Oh, good. 
Low battery. It's always the battery. Blow on that while we're here. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Turn the air on! Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking dead again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong! I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know how to fix whatever the fuck that was. All bottles can be opened manually to vent their content into the air. If you do it, be careful not to let them fly out of sight. They can?
Either way, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the problem is. So yeah, that was hardcore. I survived just as long in hardcore as I did in uh, normal mode here. Spartan dude. What is this? It's 10 can. Held on just in time. Bad fuse. Great. Well, we definitely want to solve that issue. Oh wait, that's the wrong, right. This is the one with the fuse. Find the fuse, there's the fuse. Find the fuse, there's the fuse. monitor yeah sure a big boy boy we got any other big boys Still at 20% oxygen, very little 0.6, that's good. That doesn't change. Okay, got throw a first asteroid, not bad. Okay, good. That's working again. Or no, wait. It was it was that. That's not working. 
for some reason that's not working. It says no repair needed, so. Battery looks good. Battery looks good. Battery looks good. Oxygen's still good. Battery is still good. This has nothing that I can really tell. Nope. That battery is uh, not doing well. I'll just start charging that now. Uh, well, I seem to have fucked it. Power transmitter is bad. That's off. Power transformer. That is off. That's just not even working anymore. Great. Great. How am I supposed to know what's wrong with any of this shit? Shit. Okay. Shit. I turned it off. What the fuck? battery charger my fucking ass
Okay, CO2 CO2 is going back down. Yeah, this is this is good. This is great. Yeah, this this is good. We have no gravity. On battery power. On bat, on bat. Why is that yellow? Don't know. Yeah, we're still we're still in the ice nebula. So I don't know what I was supposed to do with this noise. Like that, this is the power transformer that was in there, and that was that was glowing really hot. Battery looks good. Oh, gravity's back. We're out. Hooray, gravity is back. Good, good, good. Um, nope, just doesn't work. The battery charger is, it's, is it the fuse? Um, turn that off. Where's the fuse? There's the fuse. That's off. That's just not working. Even though this has no battery, that's going anyways. More asteroid field.
Dirty filter. Bad car sh caution alarm. Low battery. Well, Get up there. Chet. Nothing will stay on. I've changed the fuse. I've changed the the power transformer I've changed the power connector but it won't fucking stay on it doesn't require a battery stay on I've changed all three of these parts around so I don't know what the problem is is it the repair station do I need to turn the repair station on to get the battery charger working The only problem with the with the gen generator is the monitor is shit. Like I'm going to have a very bad time in a little bit because if I can't charge the batteries, I'm fucked. And even though that, ha okay, this is just weird. Like, there's no charge in that battery, but this is still working. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Low battery, damn battery, whatever. Yeah, I can't just, I can't charge it. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. <sighs> P 
past the 20 minute mark again. And at this point, I should be dead. Any second now. Any second now, everything's gonna go fucky and I'm gonna be dead. Right on time. Mmm, I love you, Atomic Reactor. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I don't know what I'm doing. Everything's off. I'm just going to be dead. There we go. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how to fix this shit. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> The power's off. Cool. How can I fix that? I don't know. Fuck you. <sighs> so, I'm dead. Let's see the other one. Let's 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 work on the station. Wow we There we go, new map. Cool. I mean, it's going down, so.
Boom. So I instantly sabotaged my own vessel by opening the damn door. This is nicer. I like this better than the tin can. There's the battery charger. Hopefully that works this time. Like there's supposed to be a sandbox mode as well that, you know, where it's very simple to get things working. Maybe I should, maybe I should fuck around in sand, maybe I should fuck around in sandbox to just get a general idea. Cause like you can still die in sandbox. Like try like super easy mode. I'll try that after I die again, cause I'm gonna die again. Like it's just, like hop in the sandbox after after I die here and just really try to get barons and just get used to having to fix things but I'm not in a super rush and then eventually I can try normal again at which point it'll be easier and blah 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 and then the actual game of hardcore We're out. We have survived another day. Another day, another space dollar. Can I fix the red monitor? I could, but it's not that big of a deal. You know what? I'll just do that. That's empty. Like, this part, fine. This, not a clue. Why does switching around broken parts fix them? Because I don't really need dirty filter. See, like I don't need super up to date on this one because the uh, this doesn't change. This isn't part of the game yet, so I don't really need it. I need this to be functioning all the time. Empty can, empty can. That's a bad fuse. Uh, in order to repair the fuse. See, there should also be like, 
I, I like I, I know I know there there are spare parts, but there aren't. Uh, here we go. Emergency lights. Like the emergency lights is is what you're supposed to be sacrificing for everything. So like really what I should do is like take all this stuff and just immediately chuck it possibly into this thing and break it down into parts so that way when something actually breaks. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. I'm going to keep the battery there. Yeah, so now now we don't but now we just don't have emergency lights anymore. Thankfully, it it seems to be much brighter in this space station than the other one. Main generator offline. Is it though? Because if the main generator is offline, it doesn't seem right because I have lights and stuff. Yeah, it seems fine. Turn things off we don't need. I think I think I like this one better. It's bigger, so I have to run around more, but That's my sprint, by the way. Walking. Sprinting! That ain't that fun. And I got a nice huge window. Look at that. Look at my huge window. Wowie. Oh. Okay. It's not brighter. I guess it's okay. Well, I thought the lights were off because it got so dark in here. Oh, good. Now what? The repair station is offline. Yeah, I know. I know that one. That one's fine. Turn that off to conserve power.
Yeah, as long as these stay lit up. Oh, there goes gravity. Wee gravity. Gravity's back. Yeah, I could I could see this game being uh, pretty fun in VR. I I think I think this this tin can would be the more popular option for VR because it's bigger and therefore. Uh, let you, you know, you'd grab on and be like, ah, and then you get it to fly through. Uh, but then again, maybe just a regular tin can would be rather popular. Don't know. Okay, let's check batteries. Getting low. Getting low. Getting low. Please just work. Thank you. Fast charge my ass. The other battery charger was way faster than this. There's no battery in this. And that's not working. Damn bat. Uh... Where's the manual? Where's the manual? I don't know where the manual is, which means I can't look at what bad bat means. Unless it just means bad battery. I mean, I would think so. Damn bat. That's not what it is. Not bad bat, but damn bat.
Well, we're fucked again. Uh, I was right about the door, though. It was getting very hot in here, so I opened the door. <laughs> and that made it nice and cold. And it's 100 degrees in here now. Open that up. Doesn't help. I'm dead. Uh, have a stroll in the pod and play with its systems. The only thing that can kill you here is yourself. Is that true? Let's see. Let's open up. Let's open up the door immediately and see what happens. Let's turn this off. Okay. I didn't even survive a minute. That's gotta be a record. Okay, so. I know, I know we can electrocute ourselves and we can suffocate, right? So therefore, we should just take it easy, right? We should be able to take it easy and learn because fuck, I don't even know. As you can see, we have a whole new monitor in game. Sandbox menu. Oh, hello. A choice of event. Unlimited repairs. Item damage. What does that say? Perfect. Atmo. At okay. Perfect atmosphere. Fixed temperature. A black hole. Let's go to the black hole. Okay. It is pulling me.
Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. There it is. Oh shit. It's not exactly what a black hole looks like. I guess we're out of the black hole. So it would seem. Okay, well, I don't know. <sighs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So the black hole is interesting. It doesn't really do much, it just kind of moves you. Do seem to be losing oxygen or maybe I have too much oxygen I don't know like that's pretty stable I don't know push-ups pull-ups yeah, look at me go. Uh, 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 yeah. Sorry. I thought that said poo. It says pod. Uh, yeah, it looks like 
Nothing's really uh, happening. What happens if I turn on unlimited repairs? Time scale. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, okay, that's, no. Now I just can't move. Oh, okay. That's not exactly, okay. I just wanted to know. I was like, does that just fill out the charges? It does. Boom, okay. Yeah, like, I think there should be like a, uh, uh, a salvage, a salvage event where it's like, oh, fantastic. And then you can, you know, you hop out, you hop out through the door. You should have like a like a little bit of an airlock or something but you hop out the door and uh you, you just you gotta try and scoop it up make it like raft like the game raft and then you can bring in the salvage and throw it in here for repairs That'd be great. I think that would make sense. Yeah, it seems like the only thing that goes wrong in Sandbox is that. Yeah, so not exactly what I wanted. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Not not exactly what I was hoping from Sandbox. I was kind of hoping things would still go wrong. I would just have a lot more time to deal with the issue so I could actually learn how to fix things. I I, I do like this game. I like the premise behind it. Ugh, but it's it's I don't know. The tutorial doesn't fucking help you at all. Because we tried that already, and I died in the tutorial. And it's like, yeah, I just... I got to the point where it's like, oh, look at the code and diagnose the problem. I'm like, okay. I look at it. It's like, oh, it's a pump problem. Cool. Can I, can I change the pump? No. But I changed the pumps out. Yeah, it still doesn't work. Then I died. So, I don't know. Also, I think that the tutorial, it needs to be uh, voice acted. Because, because this, this, if we go into the, if we go into the, if we go into this, boom, there you go. That's our tutorial.
yeah, fuse is dead, and then you go in here, you take, turn that off, grab the fuse, put that in, boom, ba boom. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be like, ah, take take this stuff out. Yeah. So this is t this is showing you how to repair. I forgot. Boom. Put that back and put this in. You do that, you do this, boom. I didn't even know this was a drawer you could open. Okay. Fuse is done. And then boom, it, it's fixed. Yeah, so this is boom, and we're gonna grab boom. That's what it tells you to do. Boom, 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 boom. Well done, clean the air filters. Ha. Ha. To fix the fuse, we're gonna need some spare parts. You have to decide which ones are worth sacrificing. But we've already done that. We've already fixed the fuse. See, it's broken. So yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I really like the premise of this game. I think it needs some more some more polish a little more uh, uh, A little bit more of a guide in hand to help people but You know Maybe they need to add some reserves reserve parts or have and have been able to resource manage them instead of switching around everything and being stuck with broken shit yeah uh i i don't really mind that bit i i think i think that whole thing could be solved with just being able to go out the airlock during scavenge events uh and just gathering up as much junk as you possibly can uh and then just throwing it because it would just be like honestly i thought look at this see all this stuff i actually thought this was kind of part of it like i was really surprised that this isn't part of it it's just a bunch of junk floating in space there's there there's our tin can i thought you know there'd be like an option to like oh there's a there's a, a, a salvage debris Junk debris, flotsam. I think that's what it's called, flotsam, because it floats. 
uh, Flotsam and Jetsam. Uh, go, go gather it, and you gather it up, and it's, you know, it's just a bunch of broken shit. Just a load of broken shit. Maybe, maybe there's like a good bit somewhere in there, but you know, you don't know for sure. Uh, you gather it up and you bring it back and you can just throw it in the repair bay so that way you get all those repair points and then when something's actually broken, you're like, ah, oh, you can go repair it. I, th I, th I, th I think, I think, I think the thing it needs most is a little more, a little more time to to solve an issue a little more time to solve the issue uh because when that generator it's always the generator for me when that generator goes down i have no idea how to turn it back on and you don't know how to turn it on and nobody it's just it's just a mystery that you have to eventually figure out on your own somehow and i got it back on and then other things wouldn't turn back on and i suffocated to death it, it's you need more time and 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 those and and the encrypted codes just doesn't make sense. You can't like decode it. Um. And 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 the second thing it needs is is the salvage event. The salvage event would would make it uh, a little more interesting to be able to leave the tin can to actually gather stuff. Uh, and uh, you know it makes it makes it rewarding. Oh no, it's still very early access. You yeah, yeah, it's absolutely still early access. If we just uh just just, just hop in. It's uh version 0.0.65F made by one man. So But we're not gonna play again. I'm not gonna do this again. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day, because um, there's only so many times I can do this before I'm just like completely demotivated. Uh, I, I'd say playing this game for two hours and dying four times that's motivation enough. Like I got the idea. It's fun. I want to keep trying it, but I don't want to keep doing it now. <laughs> So that's going to do it today. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, hopefully there are some great updates to this game. It's, uh, I think it's 11 bucks if you want to pick this game up. It's it's worth it. It's worth 11 bucks and it's it can only get better from here. So yeah, it's 11 bucks. Pick it up if you want it. You know, shoot the dev uh, a, a cheeky little, hey, saw, saw your game live streamed and it was fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Darzal. You've been a fantastic audience, and I didn't need that. I need this. Bye.